All right. Hey, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I just wanted to do a quick like prequel to our chat on the podcast. And so could you, we had a chance to just kind of connect a little bit. So I'm cheating here as if I haven't met you before, but um, could you tell me a little bit about what you do as far as in the world? Like, <laughs> what do you do? Um, all I do is travel the world. That's it. No. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> We're definitely going to put some of your um, uh, so what helps enable me to do that is um, I do business consulting for creative businesses um, who are looking to expand their revenue or streamline their systems or market their work and also for nonprofits who are doing the same things in their businesses, businesses as a nonprofit. And also I do Reiki healing and kind of teaching work to help people get into themselves, understand what their body needs, understand what their soul needs at a very intuitive, more deep, more, um, you know, a different way. So there's the logical business consulting work I do, and then there's the more intuitive healing work that I do as well. And those two things support me and help me do whatever travel I'd like to do with family, with friends, um, go on adventures. But I would say right now my life is probably – looks to, on the outside like more travel than anything else. <laughs> oh, no, that, that's brilliant. I mean, brilliant. So I, I like the fact that you bring together both the, I guess really you'd call it kind of like the male and the female energy, you know, the logical and the intuitive. And those two things together make the two sides of your business. And that allows you to go out and not just run your business, but run your business from anywhere and travel while you're doing it. So where are some of the places that you're going on your upcoming uh, worldwide adventure? Um, so let's see. I mean, just immediately I'm staying within the country. I'll be in um, Sedona for a little bit and then Aero Phoenix and then Michigan and Missouri, um, maybe going back to Miami again. I just got off of like a 12 day cruise, which was accompanied my mother on one of her passion travels, which she loves cruising, <laughs> Southern Caribbean. But in the um, coming months ahead, um, June will kick off some worldwide travels where I'll pretty much be leaving the United States for a year, be starting off in Norway and then most likely China, Shanghai, um, Japan, Kyoto and Tokyo, and then um, maybe coming back to the States for a little bit and then living in Paris for a while. Um, maybe some more Southeast Asian travel. I'd like to incorporate some Thailand, some Bali. I haven't done as much of Southeast Asia or Asia in general. So I'm looking to expand more of my travels there. I've done a lot of Europe in the last few years. Um, so yeah, lots of fun adventures ahead. Wow. There'll be lots of photos, lots of sharing, lots of stories um, coming out. And like I said, it will look like I'm traveling all the time, but I swear there's also work happening. <laughs> you know, I mean, it doesn't matter, right? If you can just work, if you can just travel all the time and not work, brilliant <laughs> I like taunting the rest of us to get with the program yeah yeah you know there, there were many years when um travel was tied exactly to work and now work can happen and travel can happen and they don't have to necessarily be traveling for work which was very different than traveling for pleasure while working it is different like yes it's such a small nuance yeah. but it's a huge difference Huge difference, yeah. And I think about all the, like, social media influencers who, you know, that's like travel, travel, experience, experience, experience. And I've done that as well, where you experience a lot of things and then you have to deliver all that work of experiencing everything and documenting it versus being able to experience it and enjoy it and share whatever you want, but not on somebody else's, you know, kind of timeline and still being able to do some work um, while you're doing that as well. Neat. Very yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, um, I definitely am excited about the upcoming podcast at, where we got a chance to chat a little bit deeper and I will, will be pre, hang on. Don't you love live? I love live. <laughs> no one to edit. It's real. It's real. No one to edit. <laughs> so we'll be basically running this and then the podcast will follow shortly thereafter. And along the way, we will be following you. Um, on our Instagram page and on our Facebook page because I want to see your photos too. 
<laughs> have wonderful, wonderful time. And um, oh, and in the notes here, I'm going to link to your TED Talk because that was brilliant. Well, thank and you. I enjoyed it very much. So for those of you who haven't um, seen the podcast yet, what we're going to be talking about is what to do, or excuse me, what could you do if you weren't afraid of trying at all? Like if you, if you want to do anything, you know, what would you do? So, and I just butchered that title tremendously, but you'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much and have so much fun on your travels. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes.